Avogadro's law. At a given temperature and pressure, the volume of a gas sample is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas particles in the gas sample. So the volume, volume is proportional to the number of moles at constant temperature and pressure. This implies that if we have twice as many gas particles, the gas would occupy twice as much volume at the same temperature and pressure. Another way of stating Avogadro's law is to say, at the same temperature and pressure, equal volumes of any gas contain equal the number of particles. The volume of one mole of any gas is called the molar gas volume, capital V subscript M, and has the units of liters per mole. So your molar volume is equal to the volume of your gas divided by N, the number of moles. Volumes of gases are often compared at standard temperature and pressure, which we refer to as STP. It's chosen to be 0 degrees C, 273 Kelvin, in one atmosphere of pressure. So standard temperature and pressure is 0 degrees C, 273 Kelvin, in one atmosphere. So anytime you see STP, we talk about standard temperature and pressure, those are your conditions. At STP, the molar volume, that is the volume occupied by one mole of any gas, doesn't matter what it is, is 22.4 liters per mole. This is a conversion factor for gases at STP. So one mole of any gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. So if I say one mole of H2 at STP, STP has a volume of 22.4 liters. If I say one mole of oxygen gas at STP, the volume of, is equal to 22.4 liters. One mole of any gas at STP, the volume is 22.4 liters. So what we have here is a conversion factor at STP. I know that one mole of gas is equivalent to 22.4 liters. You can use it either way in calculations. So STP, we know one mole of any gas is equivalent to 22.4 liters. Homework 42.